last time on D&D Ball Z, we were lucky enough to finally get our performances going and set up. We had some uh, some excellent busking that led to a very full tent. And I can't see it, but I'm bowing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, following that, I want to say our opening performance was... Was it Gamma? Yeah, all right. I had to be sh sure... Uh, and then we had a substitute uh, ringleader. <laughs> yeah, which was interesting. A bunch of people got in for free, which I didn't think about until just this morning. Yeah, no one was running the, the front of the tent <laughs> after you went through, so yeah. Yeah. But you got plenty of tips up on stage, so yeah. you know you were running the hat, so that was good. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Silver. I think one of my silver. one of my favorite parts of Last Adventure was just trying to explain what a ringleader does. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> it's like, what does the ringleader do? Uh, all the little things that make the show go right. Yes. Um, also, and uh, MC technically would be the the best, best way most yeah. people would understand it. It, yeah. it is, but I feel like the ringleader even goes beyond the MC in the point that he's behind the scenes determining when to pull in specific acts when the crowd is leaving. So it's it's very interesting how it is definitely like an MC, but it's like MC plus. Yep. MCE plus hype man plus fucking <laughs> yeah it's so it's such an interesting like I love carny and and circus like culture it's so great um, I did have to pull wedge <laughs> fucking out of the crowd and that ended up being a mistake <laughs> Oh my goodness <laughs> well to be fair he was like in the crowd like one like <laughs> He was losing our customers. He, he, he had a weird doll. Yeah, like he would be like, "I like my doll," or so, he would say something, and then I would just roll and like, "All right, like five people just backed away from you," because he's just holding this nearly person-sized doll on his shoulder. Like, I assume everyone's seen the art at this point. Yeah. Okay, so she actually is like close to human size. She is not like super small. That's for sure. She's not like super big. I think she's not quite as big as she's depicted. You'd have to cover it with Divi, but she's not miniature size. She's yeah, she's like a female size, but she's like a short girl size. <laughs> I, if I'm, size. I'm trying to like think of a think of an Fun example, size. but have you ever seen like the there was like the 1800s dolls, not the like super fancy pristine ones, but the ones that were like the, the ones foot. made with actual hair left over from yes the yeah. like those yeah. ones that would be the best example like they're nearly look like real people but they wouldn't look like adult people most of the time they'd be almost children-esque a lot of they the were time yeah. look like cherubs yep very much it, it was it's interesting stuff that's why i was like, is like 4 11 she's a short girl so is she like my size uh, I'd say probably even a little smaller than that. Maybe like just under four foot would be my guess. Maybe a little over, depending. Uh, no, oh God, she's I not. Like she's not like halfling. Hey, you size. got the right color for that. So she's, she's not halfling size. She's just like a short bay. <laughs> like okay, so she's short bay then. It's, she's it's... short bay, but she's not halfling bay. Okay. So she's actually then yeah, and that's what I kind of assumed was like that you had drawn her in proportions, which the picture does give those proportions. So that's that's why I was like, yeah, this is not far fetched for people to be like, why is he carrying around this nearly life size doll on his shoulder with a snake <laughs> and saying how much he likes it? Um, hey, this is my emotional support doll. Leave this, me alone. Like, <laughs> just have a little card. <laughs> this is my condition. Oh, can I also say, I fixed a goof that I made last week. What's that? Um, I said I was there for like 20 years at the carnival, which is not true, because I'm only 35. So I would have been there for like 15-ish. That's all right. That. We'll, we'll round it up. It's it's easier to round it up. Twenty because of the fifteen. Yeah. yeah, like it's it. We are not saying you've been there for twenty, but for the purposes of using the role, it goes by the decade. So, yeah. And which, when you round which, fifteen, which is why Gunter has 20. a ridiculously huge modifier. <laughs> She's like Gunter. What did you roll? I rolled the one, so thirty-seven. That's like. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to fix that before we go on. Cool, that is good to know. I will keep that reminder in my notes. Which, God, I have got to organize these better, but 
it is there's, there's a lot going on man uh, 15 years oh, 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 oh. But yeah, she probably is close to like your character's high beers is like what four eleven or something. Eleven. <laughs> Make the short girl. More hysterical. <laughs> even more hysterical. That is actually yeah. a little funnier because now it's just it's not like this little doll. It's just like why is this thing that's my size? I think it's alive. It's alive. Um, <laughs> so that's totally gonna change things for Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> just dress it in different clothes. Just put a weird hat on it. Yeah, they can just they can just swap clothes. Like she's probably just gonna take her when she realizes that is hysterical. <laughs> oh man, uh, they're just gonna share all their clothes and just be constantly changing. That's adorable. <laughs> that's creepy. When there's no consent from from Jem and she just sees, hey, that's my that's my outfit. Jem, you're gonna you're gonna wake up one morning and the doll is gonna have switched clothes for you. <laughs> Be just in different clothes than what you would sleep in. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can we make it that that's actually what happens when they wake up in the morning? That's up to your roles. <laughs> I don't roll for that. <laughs> also, we're oh. still going. We're still going to the dark side today. So yeah, it's still my time. It is. It is not the next day yet. So whoever is uh, going to bed and whoever is going. My guys. Uh oh, oh, she's rolling. I don't roll for that. All of a sudden, I already moved your shit. Right. Oh, that was you did that? You moved the stuff? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Out of character? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's too funny not to say it. <laughs> yeah, um, so that was a 14. I, I don't know my modifiers for that yet, because I have to get out of my iPad. Uh, now, did you move I'll check gem for stuff? you. Gem specifically? Because I didn't state it last time, but I don't think we actually, like, stay in the same tent. Not anymore. I don't think we said that. You guys are so excited to my tent. Was sharing a tent or not? I we I think we said she came to my tent. Yeah, like we have separate tents. Yeah, actually, I think your stuff was moved. Cause my stuff not non character wise, like you boop the snoot. Now you have to pay. I did boop the snoot. <laughs> yeah, that was that was her whole point was because you booped her. She wanted to move all your stuff. <laughs> you covered me in spiders. Is that not enough? No. That was for something else. <laughs> what else did I do? I don't know, no, but you really pissed this off. Yeah, she's still boo. There was something yeah. else though. I can't remember what it was. My character may or may not be vengeful. <laughs> character is just straight evil. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, speaking of your uh, your relative uh, modifier for that is going to be plus four. Okay, so I have 18. Okay, so... It, I rolled a 14, I think, if I remember. Or am I actively rolling? Uh, you shouldn't be actively rolling, theoretically. You can do stuff later when you're doing stuff to hamper, especially because she future rolls. Like, she does a lot of future rolling where she's like, alright, I have to wait until I'm doing this, but as opposed to waiting to make the roll, I'm gonna roll for it. And if she prep rolls, you know what I mean, as a reaction. Yeah. Which is Especially a lot easier. She's yeah. quiet a lot of time. Yes, it's, and that's partially I my fault. To plan things out. <laughs> I feel like I, you know, I feel like I slightly pigeonholed her into this role, but I also feel like she's kind of taken to it really well. So I'm not too. Oh no, I'm I'm completely in love with this role. <laughs> Very good. You, you the first the first time you mentioned it, I was like, fuck yeah, okay, I'm all in. <laughs> I don't notice squat because my passive is only a 15. Yeah, she's got- I forgot she had that. That's why she keeps getting such good dex rolls is because she does have a good modifier on her stealth. Mm -hmm. so. so even when I roll pretty shitty, like it's still good enough. Usually? Usually. Sometimes she messes up. Yeah. <laughs> Usually it's on doing what she wants to do though and not on the actual stealth roll. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, am I, am I, don't, I haven't been back to my tent yet, so the moving stuff hasn't been noticed yet. All right. I just gotta send this one detailed message. But if you guys want, you can discuss uh, the rest of what happened for Nagi, and then start your epic trip, and everyone can decide what to do. 
I got a hundred silver for fixing for the tent that when I see you, I'll give to you. Um, because the tent it, got destroyed by a bunch of elephants. Yeah, just a little bit. Some people were all in there. Some. Okay, how did the, how did the elephants come into play? Uh, they went on a stampede. I have. Cause I got an elephant. <laughs> okay, why would they go on a stampede? I have a Shut up, Dickie. Um, I don't know 100% why, but I have a feeling. I know why. Oh, okay, so we, as characters, we don't know why. Correct. Okay. And the that's person who wrangles them doesn't use vows when he speaks. And that's why Jem's going to lead the conversation to get some compensation for that. Because I am dumb enough to understand him. <laughs> hmm. Um... But I don't think... It basically, Payas was like... Payas was there, too. She was like, you can't do that. Get out. Blah, blah, blah. Payas was like, yeah, if you want compensation for this, take it up with a 38-foot-tall elephant juggler. Peace. And then left. Gotcha. So sometime tomorrow, Jen's going to have a conversation. That'll be fun. Because she's not a people person. <laughs> I mean, you're also not a word person, so that'll be fun to... Exactly! The the role reversal here, I don't like it! <coughs> uh, performances went well up until Wedge decided to shoot some arrows at some innocent crowd people. Mm-hmm. There may or may not be a body hiding somewhere. No, I moved it back to what I moved it to back to where the elephant would smush it. Okay, but that's still technically in hiding. <laughs> now you hid it amongst the other bodies. <laughs> but see, the elephant smushed it, so it's just kind of dead without our faults. It's fine. The real question is there evidence, and that's what the police would ask. <laughs> Sorry, that's what my lawyer would ask. <clears throat> <laughs> And the evidence has been mangled beyond all belief. There you go. So we're fine. Jem almost set set the tent on fire before the elephants came. Because I tried my hardest to get that whole situation sorted before it came to the audience saying we killed somebody. I just love because there's so much going on in the background just out of nowhere. Is that a dead body? I know. But, uh, yeah, so Wedge, uh, by the fault of both himself and uh, Fate Cough. Fate has tiny little wooden hands. No, regular sized wooden hands. Um, and then a firm grab to the buttock. Buttock. That's the thing, she said buttocks, so it's both. Oh, buttocks. Excuse me. Both yeah. hands, then. Yeah, so it went ba -boom. To be fair, she's got like uh, four of them, so... Yeah, two hands. Dang, those are some lucky hands. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that happened. Wild shot into the crowd ended in a death. Uh, as I'm sure you may or may not remember, Nagi Paez said, one more death and there was going to be trouble. <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if she believed me, though, that there was no death. I Definitely mean, not. I don't think she did, but proof and belief are not the same thing. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. But that's, yeah, that's but tomorrow problem. It, it really is. It's not a today problem for <laughs> sure. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much to the best of my recollection what happened last time. Obviously, there was some good part. We had the nice pool show and all the other good shows and people doing stuff and then then that last part happened and that was unfortunate but it, you know things oh god happen i got to say that the that the carnival was a smashing success i'm honestly smashed it because the elephant smashed our audience get it that's i'm hilarious I mean, you're not not hilarious, that's for sure. Thank you. I'm just giving you shit. <laughs> uh, 
but uh yeah that's so currently let's say I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some stuff here get rid of some stuff that we don't need anymore Boop. I need my, Boop. Ma my mouse I got my computer mouse Boop. Alyssa there you'll be go. proud of me I didn't lose my computer mouse I was gonna say do you know where it's at <laughs> So, uh, oh, also they set Steve the intern and Leroy the transgender barmaid to clean the place. And one of the slaves that that Nagi stole. Ah, yes, I forgot about that guy. The one that that the dar dinosaur dar dragon didn't eat. Oh gosh, I'm getting. Speaking of, Clarence has just been in the back, like, what the f's going on in there? I heard like elephants to ledge. and screaming. This is insane. Speaking of, I don't know where we put those slaves. I really feel like that's a little too casual way to address it. <laughs> Sorry, where did we put the intern workers? Like <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Just reminds me of uh, fucking Thor. It's like I don't like that word. What word? Uh, what are we talking about? Currently, let's see. Yeah. Oh, Thor Ragnarok. Oh, fair, 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 fair. Ooh, oh. oh, right. Oh, what was that? Um. Let's what see. What are their determining? Damn, is a good. Uh, uh. What, what Jeff Goldblum said he had. Yeah, I can't, it's like, I can't remember the word he's, the, that he didn't have a problem with, but that they, uh, that Topaz asks if he has a problem with, and it just does not, I can't remember. Cannot remember at all. Nope. It's such a random word that I just cannot remember. Love you. Bye. Oof. That's gonna bug me. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's gonna be rough. It's just gonna be like fucking two in the morning when I'm gonna break out of my I can't breathe sleeps to be like, oh shit, it was that. Oh god, I almost spilled my drink all in my bed, damn. But at the at the very end of last time, God damn it! I always forget. I went, that. Sorry. I went to Jem and was like, "Hey, let's go over to the dark side." And she was like, "Okay." It took a lot less convincing than I actually thought. <laughs> Jem's so smart. <laughs> Fair. As an eight for intelligence, she's going I with was, the plan. I was. Outside of game, I was sitting here like, how am I gonna convince Jem? Like, a, I have this brilliant idea. We need all this information, but go with me to protect me. But then I didn't even fucking need to, because I was just like, hey, you should come with me. And she's like, I. Right. Because she's not smart. And I'm trying to figure out how to play a not smart character. <laughs> Liz, I think you're very smart. I'm not as smart. I'm a uh, super the dark dope. side leader. Gen uh, gen it generics. Got it. Okay. With a G no, with a D nobody it. knows how to say his name is the short version. But yeah, it's the Jan. It was a girl. <laughs> it's Janarak. Oh, it was a girl. <laughs> I, I call him Jenny. <laughs> Yeah, you know. That's too complicated of a word. To, to be fair, as far as we know, liches are, you know, gender fluid. Fair. I love it. It's not like they actually, you know, have sex, as far as we understand it. God, I hope not. You know. How do you know? I'm hoping. <laughs> also, you've never seen a baby lich. It's true. Because... They don't have babies doesn't mean sex doesn't exist. Yeah. Fair, but that's like usually the point of sex, at least in, you know, organisms. 
<laughs> it's an outcome, but that isn't the point. You know, actually, really... that's usually the point of sex, as Here's defined by an if, organism. If liches have sex, it's 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 hate sex. Fair. Yeah, yeah. So there is sex, but like the main point of an organism having sex is to uh, procreate, and the reason True, it feels good this... is to encourage that. Yeah. Then we got this forward-facing pelvis, and that all just everything went to hell. Yeah. Because we're sinners. I cannot find this thing I'm looking for. I'm just gonna have to yeah message it over here. My bad, Nagi. I don't know why I cannot figure out PMs again in this bitch. Eh. I used to remember. Now I don't remember. But we are <laughs> on our all twenty. Yeah. Isn't that like w. slash W and then their name? Yeah, that was it. I don't know why I kept thinking slash name T. Then there we go. Oop. gonna be a bother all stream or all game the short answer from the dog is yes but the long answer is pay attention to me can you even hear her purring and meowing no but i can feel okay. it you can that's good because i want to get the essence that a cat is with me right now at all times Do you want to be that cat, cat lady? I am that cat lady. I was gonna say, she is the cat lady. She has a cat lady box. It's true, I get monthly subscriptions from something called cat lady box. It's very fun. I'm wearing a sh shirt from it right now. It says cat mom. Oh. Cool. Yeah. I'm a cat person. Okay, does, does stuff in that box, is it like just for you, or does stuff come in the box for the cats as well? Uh, both, for both of us. Okay. Lots of toys did, for the cats. Did they get a t-shirt? No, unfortunately. Would your cats wear a t-shirt? That was my next question. See, they- Boo wears his tie. Okay, but a tie is different. That's like a collar. Yeah. Though they don't wear collars. They're inside cats. Hearing that a tie is like a collar just makes people in suits have a whole new definition. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why my boss has to wear a tie when he goes into Columbus. Cuz cuz he's a cat? Yes. Cuz he's a bottom? Yes. Cuz he's a pussy? Yes, that too. <laughs> Cause what a nice uh, I should tell your boss all of this. I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you will be dead before you can type, girl. <laughs> uh, you also have to remember I have no way of contacting your boss. I just know his first name. And you also know where I work. You can figure it right, out. Well, True. <laughs> I was giving Michael a couple more minutes because he was seeming excited to play today earlier. But I'm guessing his dumb ass passed out or something. Ah, uh, do you could attack him like we did the other time? Yeah, I hit him with a real quick text. But, eh, you know, we'll just leave chastising him till later. Um, <laughs> and uh, we'll let you, you girls go about your business since currently we also don't have a jewel. So Florence is uh, going to be doing things. Uh, currently, Florence is retired to her tent. Which you guys don't even know where it is because she's new, and you don't know where she, where Gunter put her. After her first performance, she pr pretty tired. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, Stephen Leroy are both working hard, but grumbling pretty loudly about how much poop and blood there is everywhere. Elephants. I thanked them profusely, and so I was very nice to them. Thank you. 
Leroy, the transgender barmaid, has a lot to clean up. I gotta go get a bucket. <laughs> and Steve's like, I'm, I'm just an intern, man. I was only supposed That's to be an intern for three weeks. It's been four years. A couple more months and maybe you'll move up from intern. That's what they said when I started. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm interning for. Uh, life experience, and then I walk away. Oh lord, it's not bad. All right, that's not bad. That's pr all right. Damn, that's probably the best I've seen in a minute. Holy crap! What happened? Nothing. Just. <laughs> If he just killed us all and she might yeah, yeah, she may have just assassinated you all in your sleep without you having any idea. Um she, she fucking put an actual tarantula in my actual bed. Yeah, it's actually in your hair. No. Uh, <laughs> let's let's not No, nah, I'm just I'm so just hitting you. Extremely <laughs> arachnophobic. Ooh, that's she rough. Give you ideas, Diffie. <laughs> All right, well, so yeah, Gem and I are off to the old, the, the bad side of town. Can I make a perception roll to see if I heard them talking about going over there? Oh, shit. Where your tent in relation to mine? Uh, wait, yes. we have tents? Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Well, where are your tents? I don't know. We didn't have the map part for this. To be yeah, fair, we, we have not food. slept yet. Yeah, we did. Oh, right, right, right. That we, is fair. We didn't sleep yet. Yeah, Jim was getting slept. ready to sleep when I interrupted her. This is true. We just had not yeah. been to the tents yet. Give me one moment. Eh. 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 All right. Uh, I'm, excuse. I'm leave it up to the DM to tell me how close is my tent. <laughs> Your <laughs> tent. Oh, in relation to each other is a whole nother thing. That's really a question for Gunter. <laughs> I just I was like, what am I doing? Uh, just ask Gunter. It's all good. Um. I think if. This is gonna try hearing it. We also, I remember us say, like having this conversation, hush, hush. Which I, I think like is, right. I think that's also yeah. correct. Uh, if it's not correct, we're gonna say it is for now. So should I roll stealth then? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. All right, and then I'm gonna roll perception. Uh, I would also say that your tents are probably relatively close to each other. I'd say probably less than 10 feet, just based on how carny stuff is laid out. So do I get advantage on perception roll? I don't think you get advantage through two tents no. within 10 feet. I think it's a basic uh, roll. I don't think you get disadvantage though. I don't feel like it'd be too hard to hear them, you know, unless right. they're being super, you know, they get a good stealth check. But then they might get a bad stealth check and be, have you heard of... I just always think of Futurama. It's like, don't tell anyone. Gotcha! It's giant. Yeah, my roll. I've already done mine. Ashley? 12. Dirty 20. I had a 12. Oh. So do you hear, like, my side of the conversation? But were you intentionally being stealthy, or did you just say it because you said you were going to try to Last time, her saying, hey, are you alone? Like, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I wouldn't have, like, said it, like, super loud, because it is technically their being all, like, revolty or whatever. And even if we're just going by my passive perception, it would be my passive perception is a 16. Which is pretty good. It's a pretty good perception yeah. right there. So he but, hears uh, me. Yeah. Me. Okay, then. What's your character's name again, Ashley? Carly. Carly. Did Carly talk about going to the other side of the camp? 
Yes. Okay. I was like, I was like, you know, we don't have any information about the other side, so we should go over to the dark side, basically. And then okay. she was like, when do we go? And I was like, well, fucking right now. And she's like, all right. You didn't hear me. <laughs> yeah, you didn't hear that, though. So you didn't hear, you didn't... See, this is why I wish I could control the audience of so much fun. the other side of the camp, but I don't technically know when or anything like that. No. Lis, a gem asked when, and I said right now. So what, oh, we should, okay. what we should do to kind of distinguish this is anything said by the person who can he can hear should be typed in chat so that he knows what he should and should not incorporate into no. his character knowledge. Is, is is a pretty that, that decent way. That sounds good to me. I'm tired. I, it, as opposed to, uh, man, I wish I had the audio control to do that, where I could just mute someone for someone else in a specific way. Oh, that's fun. Thing, but having I, that kind of like being muted is stressful. <laughs> Not being able to hear things. Oh, it gets yeah. It's it becomes oh. an interesting. Game. It's also why I do all this stuff on the side because it's like, well, what are they doing? Right, but then I can't I can't mute it so you can hear this person and not that person. And like, I wish I had more audio control in that manner, like a router of some sort. But you know, a mixer, anything, a digital audio. It's all right. None of them give me the digital audio options. I wish I had. Then again, I'm spoiled by DAWs, so it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't transfer well. And I'm assuming you guys had this conversation in Jen's tent, I think? In Jen's tent, yeah. Gotcha. So I'm going mute just for a second because I'm going to be typing. If you have questions, I'll try to answer them quickly in chat. <clears throat> okay. Okay. You guys, let me know when you guys leave the tent. Change into some not flashy clothes. Oh, so I do have to go back to my tent then. Okay. Then I go back to my tent so that I can change some my out of my carny clothes into my into my regular clothes. And I see that that someone must up all my stuff. How must up is it? <laughs> You would have at first seen Evita walking up to Jem's tent. Ah! And just now <laughs> standing outside. And so, so I leave, and you're just there? I'm just standing, yeah. I'm just looking at you, and I say hi. Good tent. Kill up. That's my tent. I claim it. Dibs. Which one? Oh, that one? Unless this is the dark okay. side of the map. Oh, no, these are home tents. He says it in the chat. That's, okay. a, cool, that's a cool um, statue in the middle. Which one's mm -hmm. yours? That one's yours? I dragged myself to it. But um, before you would have left, I would have said, like, 10, 15 minutes, whatever a reasonable amount of time is, and then meet at the dragon. Since okay. we have that kind of landmark. Okay. How do I drag myself? Where's my icon? Uh, if you go I to your journal, yeah. I will need a... There you go. I don't, this, I don't know if, yeah, I don't know if this is possible, but could you assign two characters to me so I can have Drago and just be able to pull them on whenever? That's for Axel for whenever he has the chance to answer. Um, but yeah, so Evita is just outside with Drago at your tent 
and I would be right there and I would leave the tent and I would just see you. We said, hi, you said, hi, what are you doing? How long have you been standing there? Just a few seconds. We need to go check the other side of the camp. Are you I'm coming with you. Oh. I have my own uh, business to look into. Okay. Just don't be too noticeable. And I walk I out have an room. undead lion. I might you'll be a right little in. noticeable. No, you'll fit right in. It's the dark side. It's fine. Those are the dark side of the cookies. Probably? They better not be sugar free. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. They're the dark side. <laughs> they gotta have like full sugar, full fat, so much butter, it basically drips. You're getting wet cookies. Oh. <laughs> and so I walk back to my tent. Now that I'm aware that. Um, our resident lioness is coming to. Oh, Saint's not going to be there. Oh, uh, is coming to. How messed up is my tent? Because normally, normally my tent would be very. Um, when when we say it's messed up, it would not be like it's not trashed, right? It's not like things are strewn about or broken. In fact, at first glance, it wouldn't seem that anything is really different. It would be once you start opening drawers and looking through your things, like, everything would be placed in the wrong area. Okay. It's like if a ghost moved all your shit around. So... You just try to be great. Gem, you said 10-15 minutes? Err... Uh. However long makes sense to, like, change and then go reconvene. It takes, like, five minutes longer, ten minutes longer than what you think it would. Okay. So... I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? Where is everything? Where is everything I own? What? Who, how? When? <laughs> I make sure I have everything. Did you take anything? Do I have to roll to see if she took anything? Jim's just gonna make her way, like, around and go to, like, the opposite side, because she didn't hear that part of the conversation, I'm gonna say, where Evita's joining us. As you walk around, <laughs> five feet behind, I just follow. Uh, hi. <laughs> follow. Can I help you? Waiting to go. Go where? I believe you know where. No, I don't. Would you like me to say it out loud so that the rest of the camp can hear, or would you like to keep it secret? Tell me you were coming. I am. I have my own business. Better than going alone. Okay. Hey. Um, I don't know if I should roll to see if I, if anything was taken, but I'm just gonna come back out over here now. So I'm back with- I've rejoined the group. Alright, the group is grouped. Uh, we're gonna just make it known that, uh, Wedge is sleeping. Uh, I don't know if you guys have assigned your tents yet to any specific yeah. area. But uh, Wedge being the newest guy, he would have one of the smaller tents near you. Well, second newest guy now. Uh, you also did not, uh, you weren't able to see Jewel's character when you came over. You don't know where she sleeps still because she came in before you guys did. Take this Ooh, one. That was nice. No, my character's name is Carly, not- doesn't have my name, stupid. No, how do I- how do I- <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. Uh, I'll take this one. So I'm kinda new, but not super. So I have that one. 
kind of off near an entrance. I thought 15 years is kind of new. That's fairly new in the scope. It, 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 no, I like, yeah, it's new in the, in the lifespan of the carnival because it's what, like 200 years old or something? That's fair. It's pretty old carnival. Yeah, I, I like, I just like that that's like 15 years old is new. Listen. <laughs> I am only 35. I am just a baby. Um, so, yes, I am in normal clothes. Most of the makeup is gone, not all of it. Because I'm still cute, I still gotta be cute at all times. And I have on like a, a jacket or some kind, kind of like medium length jacket. to go over to the dark side. I just want to know who laughs at the joke. That's all I want to know. I've already made my Sith jokes today with the cookies. That's true. I mean, the the joke, the... Um, some of the men laugh at your joke, the... the, the chat. I want to I know. <laughs> Who's minions? I'm thinking, yeah. back in the character, I'm thinking, oh. guys, I'm thinking that we go into basically the big tent and see what sort of shenanigans, what's her name, Jenny is up to. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jen, Jen, cataracts. <laughs> yeah, Jen, Jenny's cataracts, that's right. Yes. Gotcha. Okay, now I know who we're talking about. <laughs> I just love both of the nicknames for this guy already. <laughs> it's like, what's his name? Ah, uh, you know, it sounds like some bullshit. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, because I, I literally pulled that name off of a generator and changed it slightly. That was how I got it. <laughs> and now we're changing it a little bit more. Oh, it's great when your characters get nicknames or, you know, epitaphs. That's what I always hope for for my characters. That's why all the characters I introduced have an epitaph. Steve, the intern. Leroy, the transgender barmaid. Uh, the jungling gi storm giant. I can't remember his name. I didn't write it down. I didn't either, actually. I think it's just like GLL. GLGL. -L 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 oh, that's right. Glug. Glug, Glug. I wasn't too far off. I almost remembered. I also got his name from a generator and just took all the fucking. <laughs> God, I'm dumb. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. If it's up. Yes. Have you heard anything about some kind of, what's the word, spat between different uh, uh, groups here at the carnival? You talk of rebellion? I wasn't going to say it in that many words, but yeah. I see we have more in common than we might think. Oh, that is my business, so now it must be our business. So, so... What side are you on? Yeah, what's I'm on no side. But I was asked... to help the dark side leader. Oh. Oh! How curious. But that makes me... That reaction makes me think that, uh... This is not the same thing that you have heard. Oh, let me check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I remember that. Yeah, it's out of character. I'm pretty sure I remember that you guys were on the other side. I'm. I want to be. I want it to be known. I was never asked anything. Yeah, I. I looped her you... into my stuff. <laughs> yeah, and neither of us technically have decided anything yet. Yeah. I. I am on no side. But, uh, I'm intrigued. See what yeah. plays out here. Why aren't you on a side? 
What is the point of a side? Look at my freaking lion. What side is it on? Life or death? The adorable side. Both. I have no sides. I have calls for myself. And that is all that you need to know. I also do want to remind you guys that you've been, uh, you know, working together hand in hand for. <clears throat> Yeah, fifteen. No, no, no. You guys, you guys are definitely like super, and everyone, even over those long times, could have like mysterious. But I definitely feel like it shouldn't be a surprise to them that you are like not uh, taking sides. Like that's probably something that over the last ten or fifteen years you have displayed in Fair. daily yeah. activities. Fair. Damn it, D and D Beyond, show I me just... alignment. Are you I'll looking for a character alignment? I am. I look in features. Uh, I believe treats. it's in. Is it description? Yeah. Of a specific character? Yeah. In characteristics of description. Okay. I forgot. I wanted to change my alignment from what I made it originally. Which I haven't put one on, but I should actually put one on because that's kind of. It just helps sometimes with motivations. Um... Also with certain spells and things such as like detect, you know, evil. Yeah. So I yeah. like neutral uh, characters. I am, I am just like my lion, right in the middle. So D and D Beyond rolled out the dice feature for people who subscribe, and it's kind of neat. <laughs> saw that. Yeah, I, I saw that. Like I saw that on my D and D. Like you literally can just click, open... you tap a thing. And yeah, it rolls. you just click something and it rolls for you. Pretty dope. It's stupid that it's subscribe only though. That is it's, very dumb. It's... But I feel it's like they're doing that because it's maybe a beta. Yeah. Yeah. The thing literally said beta. I think this is them testing it. Yeah, because they did they did the same thing with uh, the encounter builder. Yeah, which I like, which but is really good. Yeah, I mean it's good. I like it a lot. There's some things I wish that every encounter builder had that they still haven't implemented. I just can't find certain like the. It's not even that they don't have it. They just gotta expand. Like the groupings are decent for like temperate and forest and but they don't have a group a very good grouping for like colloquial dungeon use so like for uh, example yeah. like if you have like you know a beholder or for example the lich there's certain monsters that are related with them either thematically or like story-wise where you're bound to see them and i'm like i'm looking for those more re natural like encounters where it's like nah i didn't just like grab 12 things from the underwater list because that's all i could find <laughs> having said that the encounter builder is still one of my favorites by it's far very good oh yeah and when they rolled it out it was just like the best Even now, it's probably still the best encounter builder, honestly. I cannot find what I'm looking for on this. And I forgot what I'm looking for on it. So, are, what are you guys doing? We... I think it's best we head out now. We should probably go to the, the, the dark side. And we should probably go quietly. Probably. Like, try not to draw too much attention to ourselves. Though, I mean, there's lots of people there now, so we could just sort of try to blend into the crowd. I mean, you're noticeable with your lion and all, and Jem is noticeable-ish because she's been here for a long time, but I'm not. I'm also short as all get out. I can hide with... In and people if we uh if we stay more to uh, the outer's the outer uh rim uh the rainbow could probably stay outside and be quite stealthy and not draw as much attention excellent then let's do that go ahead and kind of stealthily then we will head in stealthily 
That's not the dice I want to roll because that's, that one did me dirty last time. Sometimes you want things to do dirty things to you, though. Not for stealth, though. I want to be sniggy snake. Fair. Ooh, that one did bad, too. That's a 10. Alright. That's a 14. <laughs> so, for me, it's a... 18, and for Drago... Bring up his character sheet. Uh, uh, that's a natural one. Good job, you dumb lion. <laughs> Even with a plus eight! How dare It's still a nat one! <laughs> it is still a nat one. I need to put this tape measure up, because otherwise I'm just over here fidgeting with it. I am... I am... Not stealthy. I am. I have a ten. I'm at a ten. So you, bards can't be stealthy. I am just very. That is a lie. <laughs> True. Just Still that. aggressively bard uh, he, sexual. He's a great stealther. Do you this charm them to not see them? <laughs> this bard can't be stealthy. I'm too cute for it. Everybody looks at me. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, we go stealthily over, quote unquote, stealthily over to the dark side of the tent. All right, so we're going to the dark carnival, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So in order to do that, we have to pass through the other carnival. We're just gonna assume we pass through that carnival. All right. I feel like that one we can probably walk through fine. Probably because we like belong the there and everything. Yeah. So. Uh, well, we could roll again. <laughs> yeah, the stealth is for the, I, I'm gonna, the side. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that up to you, especially considering you gotta go through the forest area too, which you mm. may encounter something. <clears throat> is there stuff in the forest? <gasps> what? There's never stuff in the forest. Well, I say we use our first rolls as going through the forest. Yes, we did very badly in them. I got a 10. I have a natural one for Drago, but an 18 for Vita. Out of 14. Ooh, ooh, I know how to play my, lo my low stealth. I'm just over there trying to pet the lion, and the lion's not having it. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> the lion is like, he's doing the growl, and then like, if you get too close, he does the lash out thing, like the one paw. Oh gosh! Seeing this, Jeff just holding her quarterstaff in case things go wrong and she needs to intervene, because it's a lion. Seeing this, Evita is giggling. <laughs> I'll cast Mage Hand and try to pet the lion with Mage Hand. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. It's mage hand. It's like, it's not an attack. It's it. It, yeah. It's weird. It, it's so weird. Your floating hand appears at a point you choose within range of thirty feet. The hand lasts for the duration of one minute, or until you dismiss it as an action. The hand vanishes uh, if it's more than thirty feet. Uh, Manipulate an object, open an unlocked door container, stow or retrieve an item from an open container, or pour the contents out from a vial. It can't attack, activate magic items, or move more than 10 pounds, or carry more than 10 pounds. I feel like it can pet a lion. Try to move a lion. <laughs> if it's going to, then my lion is going to try to claw attack it. Oh god. <laughs> Which I don't know what happens is my problem. It's just ethereal, so... I know. So it just well, goes through, go right? Like, I mean, yeah, yeah no, it does. One. That is going on. We, had, we had a very similar conversation about this when she, when she used the same thing to boop Diffie's character. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, we did. Where I was just like, I cannot find a reason logically in the way the rules work for it to be like resistible like yeah it's kind of annoying and dumb but it doesn't do any damage it doesn't feel like doesn't change anything it's just like a very cosmetic interaction yeah, yeah. it's the cat with the laser pointer yes 
<laughs> yeah, that that seems about right. So the only the only way I could think of obviously to do is like some anti magic or counter spell or something. Obviously, where you just like no get get that shit out of here. Which I don't have. Or I, I can't that remember. Would be a waste of a counter spell. I, can't, spell, I, feel I like. can't remember. Can can, can certain trip. magic <laughs> weapons affect ethereal creatures, or is it just spirits and ghosts? I don't know. There's a lot of like little questions. Ouch! Boo regard, Lucas. I swear to God. The fact that it's Boo regard and not like Bo regard. His full name is actually Boston Orion Oliver Boo regard Lucas the second. So, so you had a first. I'm sorry. Boo the second. Boo boo the second. Because I so, have a dog named Beauregard. Boo. Oh, this is before Marisha Ray's Beauregard. Right. <laughs> it was before Critical Role. Boo and Bo were both before Critical Role. Well, I hope we don't run into anything too bad in the forest because I don't have a lot of first level spells or second level spells left. Oh, that's right. Nobody's rested from the last time. I keep forgetting this because this is a very character heavy campaign as opposed to a fight heavy campaign, which Wait, nothing, did you nothing wrong with all that. your first and second level spells being a. Uh, what's it called? No, mm, not no. No, there was that other was stuff from, going on. That was from the, the dinosaur. Yeah. Oh, right. I have one of each left. I have a second. Yeah. He, his his side effects of the dinosaur have been recovered already. Yeah. <laughs> so he's just. I, I do still have. I am down one V shape, but that's the only other thing. See, I'm good minus like one thing, but that's because I get my stuff back on a short rest. I don't get anything back on a short rest. Also, I didn't take a short rest. Oh, Speaking of, uh, I think I'm about ready for this whole encounter to go down. Oh, that's what I need There's to do. There's an encounter. <laughs> oh no, it's because oh, Justin, I keep trying to play with the to be, to be fair, <laughs> any, you, there was an encounter in the last one too. It's just a different kind. You know, traps sure. are kind of, you know, encounters, just not encounters with enemies necessarily. Uh, Seeing. Seeing Drago uh, at the spectral hand, I do 100% make it act like a laser pointer. <laughs> well, and then. I'm just smiling. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna just make a group roll. Alright, well, that was a bad group roll. Wait, let's do it. Okay, yep. Thank you. Technicalities. So. You guys uh, will start over here in the forest. Good. A big forest. Okay. This place. Every map in this campaign is huge. Yeah, we have a lot. Where, of where in this forest are we? Wait, am I on the wrong page? Is it on the bottom? See, the problem is the page is really big, but sometimes I make the maps too big oh, because of it. So we should be over here yeah, to the I right. Gotcha. Ah, that's not what I want to do. Can I get my Dago boy? There, oh, yes, I will get you your Dago. Is it possible that you can make? I I was trying to do it, but it only lets you have one like assigned character token. That's like your main one. Yeah, it's really weird. Or at least I'm not. Maybe I can do this, but this is just a file. Okay. Um, maybe this will work. But I'm not sure. Downloads. I should have the picture in here still. Yep, there it is. All right, we're gonna hope. Oh, wait, no, that is in the wrong section. God damn it! I needed to go to. Can I add? Yeah, I have not been able to do it. I can do one default token, and I can do an avatar, but it does not like give me any additional upload options on these little pages. It's really weird. Oh, you know what I could do? That's what I can do. 
Uh, I knew you could figure it out. Hey, what'd you do with um Dippy and Wedge? Characters. Wedge is characters. sleeping. No, I'm talking about the the avatars, because doesn't he Michael control Dippy's too? Yeah, I'll be controlling hers during this time for the but, stuff but she's no, I'm saying do. to do that for Drago. <laughs> yes, I mean the Michael I mean, just I, controls, I, yeah, I, that's I, that's I, the I, thing I, is I, it's I yeah, so him every single time So the thing I'm just gonna do is because all Michael does is he just has control of Diffie's character. So all I'm gonna do is make a brand new character just for Drago. Oh yeah. So it'll be a little weird. You're just gonna have an extra journal entry. No, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking would probably happen. So that's perfect. I just wish they would let you have them on the same form because it's got like a default token option, but you could just have token options. But I guess I understand the the need to keep it simple at the same time. I don't know. It's one of those rough things for me where I'm like, I get the need, but. I also wish I didn't have to make two of these different things so that now you have to keep track of them also. Which, not the worst thing either, obviously. Just no. He chose to have a, a creepy undead lion. He is beautiful, you shut your damn mouth. <laughs> and All right, so you. that should do it. So now you have a Drago, and what? that's also going to help a lot. And you should have it in your journal as well, hopefully. Yep. Awesome. Oh, you got two. But oh, also, okay. when you yep. threaten yep. to sick Drago on me as a distraction, to be like Drago. To be fair, I mean, it would be a good distraction. I it, really it, was, it was going to be a great distraction. You just Although, had a broken mind and a soft body. Although, I think the result would have been the same. I'm not going to lie. Probably be here. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm playing this game one-handed because Boo has decided that my arm is a bed. Man, your cat is really good at RPM. It's true. Why does your cat have a character in this campaign? It's not this campaign, it's the other one. I had a I had a fly character in a campaign once. Oh god. Like an actual fly or mm. based on the fly? No, an actual fly. He was oh. a planeswalker. Well, that's awesome. Right? His name was Horse. Wait, what? Fly. A horse fly? A horse fly. Oh. Yeah. But um your joke is bad and you should feel bad. I think it's funny. Thank you. Stop, stop pandering to him. I would never. How dare. Anyone caught pandering will be struck down by the dice gods and then resurrected with a plus two charisma. <laughs> hey, well, I mean... That would be awesome uh, for you. <laughs> my charisma is plus five, though. Oh, well, you know, you can't... <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can do any more than that. That's pretty much the max they let us do anymore. That's the other thing I miss about three, five. Unlimited character growth. I mean, you can in this one, but you have to get special items. It's true. It's the only issue. Oh, God. Which reminds me, I need to go here. Boop. All right, so we're over there. Drago is being harassed. I think he's having a great time. Who are you? A cat person? I like animals. Is that was that in character or outside? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, in character. But yeah, you guys are uh, the three of you are here now. T sorry, four of you. Sorry, Drago. My apologies. Uh, Drago's alive, kind of. I mean, person. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Kind of. I didn't know they had this. This is really nice.
Sorry, I was I was being very happy about some of the things that had been uh, put in here to this thing generator. But yeah, you guys are in the forest. Uh, you're traveling through. The reason is it's it's a little less easy to travel through the forest during night. This is not it's not lit. It's not you, you know what I mean. Granted, I assume the undead line has dark vision. If it doesn't, I have now granted that. Um, I believe it does because it has panther stats. I think so. Yeah. I think most of those cat ones do get that stuff. Oh, but actually, just in case it just in case it, it doesn't though, it now has them. Yeah, it doesn't, but it's using its smell, which it has good smell. Advantage on checks. For nice. Things with smell, so Very we'll say nice. it, he has dark smell. Dark smell, yeah. Just like everybody. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but his is heightened. I was saying, true. it's like when one sense is like out of commission and all the rest are high end. It's all good. It's all good. But also, Jem said we should go in and be stealthy. And then I decided to play with a lion. Yeah. Because I rolled a 10 still. And the lion rolled a 1. Yeah. You know, things happen. I mean... Yeah. Sometimes things happen fun times in character. You know, the funny thing is, you can die, and it's just the end. He can die, eight hours later he's back. It's true. Bold of you to assume I can die. <laughs> All things can die. I've seen it. I've forced it. Would you like a demonstration? No. It doesn't sound fun. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good, though. Thank you, though. Just let me know whenever you want it. I'm gonna start walking stealthily with my 18. Let's get in your low numbers. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> start moving. Yeah. You guys are good? You're chilling. It's a nice day. It's a very calm day. You know, nothing bad is happening. Yet. <laughs> I'm waiting for us to hit a certain point. Yep, right about there. <laughs> 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 That's it's like, what are we doing? It's like, stop. <laughs> That's, that's basically the key to it, which is like why I wish I had made you guys walk through this every time, but it would have also obviously been fucking slow and boring and tedious. Uh, yeah. I'll be near the lion because I'm playing with the lion. I want the lion to not be near her because she's playing with the lion. So, just <laughs> I'm chasing a lion. You are chasing a lion. And that is what's giving away our position right now. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's not right. Uh... <laughs> so, suddenly... Oh, no. You are appeared around. But, um... Bah... White one. Oh, what are all these things? There's so Is many. Is that one on a motorcycle? No. It's a uh, horse, I believe. Or like a I war horse. It's, a on a motorcycle. He, it's actually a horse motorcycle made out of like horse bones. Because <laughs> it's also a skeleton. I think, gonna, I think this is the first time I'm going to be losing some hit points. Oh no. Because you didn't want to join my fight earlier. Uh, excuse me, I did jump in the ring. I didn't get to go into my initiative order because it was too long. I didn't get to do anything in the fight, but I was there. The bow. So I'm just gonna some initiative roll here. Say, Je seeing people, Jem goes from casually holding her quarterstaff to like at the ready holding it. <laughs> So that's a 14 plus 8, 18. Plus 8? 
14, I'm sorry, 14 plus 4, 18. There's that, there's that math again. Listen, I'm gay, I don't do math good. I do, we, we have... Did about that last week? Yeah, because Kelp is also gay and can't do math and... Yeah, it's... I, ha I, I knew that there was the stereotype of Asians being good at math. I didn't know the antithesis of Asian was gay. Uh, that is a weird antithesis. <laughs> it is! <laughs> I never would have guessed it in a million years. But now we know. You have bi people who are just... It depends on the day if they're good at math or not. <laughs> The moon, the, based on the moon, really? Exactly. The star sign. Are the stars aligned for me to be good at math today? No. Stars, can't do it. Not today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not my chat, not my problem. No way, no how. Yes. <laughs> are, we, are we rolling initiative here, or...? That can definitely be up to you. Currently, these guys are just... They actually do have weapons raised, a lot of them. But uh, yeah, they're so not like... Gem. Yeah. But they're not like necessarily like super threatening yet. You, but the one on the horse does look at you. He's just... Uh, and also, I want to note that this horse has wings. Well, had wings when it was alive. And not what? a skeleton. Oh, it's a skeleton. Yeah, skeleton. So horse. They, do you want to get a sense of can make it dead here? Yes. So I knew, absolutely. Wait. Actually, you get a very big sense of undead. Like, several of these people are undead. My mage hand just kind of waves. Hello. You just see you just see this one right here wave back at you and the other one hit him in the head. That wasn't very nice. So he's not he's doing... just waving, just greeting, just saying hello. That's not his job. That's Brandon's job. Thank you. Hello. Which one's Brandon's job to wave? So I, I kind of step forward around the lion, around, around, around the lion, please. Thank you. And around say, the lion. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. And I say, which one's Brandon? Who's Brandon? Where's Brandon? Oh god, I knew I forgot to open one thing and it was my books! My apologies, I will have these books what? open in a moment. There will be Watch no out. more issues. Damn you, Volos, you dirty bitch. You're ruining my fun, Axel! I'm sorry! Blame the internet. I have this big smile on my face and it's just like I'm exuding charm right now. Zone of Truth. I'm trying to charm my way out of this encounter. Oh shit! Zone of Truth. I'm no, no, I, I, I don't, I, I don't have any I, level. I, I don't have any second level spells. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was making a joke. I, I just <laughs> giving you shit. Uh, so now you're good. Um, uh, but yeah, this guy right here speaks up and he says, uh, well, "I guess guy," but he says, "My name's Brandon, Spawn of Caius." Brandon Spawn of Caius, how are you? I am roughly the same as I was yesterday. Oh, okay. Why are you surrounding us? Well, and don't don't fault me for this. I apologize profusely. Uh, you guys seem like hard carnival workers. I, you know, absolutely wish it wasn't this way but we need to know who you work for for well you know gunter's usually our ringleader hmm hmm and uh who does gunter work for you know i, I like to, i like to think of gunter as really a, a an enterprising tin can you know who do you work for Tell me. I, I work for who you should work for. Well, let me guess. You work for Cataracts. 
question. Do I recognize who? any of these who? people? Ooh, do any of them recognize me? <laughs> Ooh. Hold on. Ooh. <laughs> There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them, right? Should I roll eight times? Yeah. Uh ow. If I just recognize any of them as the one who talked to me. I uh, were you approached you were approached by Janarak, right? Not by no. Zarathos? Uh, let's go look. <laughs> There's I was, I was approved by Janarak. That's what I thought. Janarak supporter. That's that's seventy nine, not ninety seven. Yeah, that is what I, I was thought. approached by a Z Zathros supporter. Okay. Three. What, Yasha? Which I guess I would I would specifically not go for all of them and be like, do I recognize each one of these? I would see if I could recognize the person who talked to me. I'll say, I just want to see if- About Generex. What does all yeah. zeros mean? Okay, I don't know. All zeros is 100. <gasps> Somebody recognizes me! <gasps> Guys! One of them recognizes me. Uh, roll a 1d8, I guess. Oh, guys! Guys, this is so exciting! No one recognizes me! <laughs> it's a good Six. day for recognizing. Six! Six, you say? Six. You know this guy. I know that guy? Well, they know you. That but you also know them. You guys are familiar. Hello. Hello. Hey. I finally got someone to recognize me. Hooray! Was it a good thing or a bad thing? We don't know yet. Oh, God. Let's just say that that person is also surrounding us. <laughs> yeah, and he has a crossbow. <laughs> It's fun that I come join it, and that's a really hilarious time. Oh, always. So, so I wave extra to the one that I recognize. He he waves back, and then this guy just looks at him like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "I ah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it." And so, do any of the others recognize anyone else? Can I look at them and see if they recognize anyone? Um. You can, although I will say they're not like going out of their way to recognize people right now, so. That is tr actually, actually, if I know that guy, I know who he would work for, so who does he work for? Uh, you know he works on the dark side of the carnival. Uh, you know that he works in the, uh, <clears throat> um, the, the best way sure. to say it would be the, the, the masochism tent? The mas the masochism tent? Yeah. Dang, let's go to that tent. <laughs> <laughs> That's a question. Why I want to see Axel have to roleplay that. Oh, <laughs> you think I'm afraid? He have he cares. You think I'm afraid? You haven't. You didn't see something I posted yesterday. Where's my? <laughs> I gotta pick the share in the thing. It's totally inappropriate, and I don't care at all. No, it's like go what? go read level nine 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 Mutaiba <laughs> or whatever the second word was. God damn. Masochistic so I, centaurs. <laughs> so I say, I say, listen, listen. If you really must know, we work for um, Generarchs, and we're just on our way back to get to our performances. That's a deception roll, right? Yeah. And Gem. Being the gem that she is, is like, I don't know who I work for. I'm trying to figure that out. So just leave me be. And I'm in the middle of my deception here, so shut up, gem. Uh, 13 I didn't plus... speak for you. I spoke for myself. 19 total. Nineteen total. So for these ones, because we have the uh, the usual ability here, well, I, I guess we can take that. We'll, we'll take a 19 total for the uh, bluff and see how these guys do against one, two, 
Get any, ooh, ooh. I don't know if they get any pluses is the thing. Some of them might and some of them might not. So we gotta see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. So um we're gonna take that and that one. So everybody except for this guy and this guy believe you. Hey. Also for your info. Gas the kiss the mask. Fair. Okay. Well, I'm just Bro. still curious why that is the guy that I know. <laughs> um, to be to be totally fair, it's, it, it, I don't know why that's the guy you know. <laughs> <laughs> just don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. No, pretty much. <laughs> Do not ask <laughs> how you met. <laughs> You'll be an unhappy person. <laughs> um, <laughs> Can so, I roll persuasion on my I don't know who I work for yet? I'm trying to figure that out. And I technically did ask if he did or I said like uh let me guess you work for Catharex. It's a good guess. Is that who you work for too? It's unclear. I was approached the other day. I thought I'd come over and uh, see what, what uh, see what came of it. Really curious. Wait. Oh, you're getting too big for me to just hold you. Not true. You haven't seen how giant this puppy's getting. I love her. I can see her in my mind at all times. I love her too, but she heavy. She's got so much love to share. Boop. Boop. There we go. Yeah, I do. Let's go. You're in dangerous territory. That's so cute. Diffy, that's so cute. Love that. Right? It's adorable. <gasps> I can't one. wait for when you're not a doll and then we don't hate each other. <laughs> Whoa. Those are two totally different things. <laughs> Listen, I am a very what? patient bard. Let's be honest. <laughs> People do things to dolls all the time. Oh Whoa. god. Oh god. This is why our audience left yesterday. <laughs> nah. You <Eek. laughs> So yeah, so that's that's what we're doing in the forest here. So really, we should just be able to leave, right? You're gonna let us go with no problem. Hmm. And I got my big pretty smile on. Well, obviously, uh, Gas Kiss, you know, he's inclined to let you go. Even though he kind of knows you're not telling the truth. But this guy is. We're buddies. Yeah. But this guy, not so much. He also knows that you're maybe not telling the truth. And he's going to ask him, he's like, uh, so what tent do you work in? Um, the, the big one. The main, the main, okay, listen, listen. <laughs> so, listen. So, maybe, maybe I wasn't being 100% honest, but. Surely, <laughs> surely you can let us go this one time because we are just interested. We're just really interested in, in, in. Oh my goodness. 
the Jen, 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 Jenny's side of the viewpoint, we you know? We're really so, interested in, in, Jenny's, in Jenny's point of view, and we want to learn a little bit more. Just because we, we're paid by one side doesn't mean we agree with them fully. Really, we take his money. You really ought to really think that's a good thing. We take his money. Well... I feel like this is a role for persuasion, I guess? Because you're not lying anymore. <laughs> I'm no longer lying because I realized that didn't work. <laughs> Are we both rolling? Can I help her? You can assist. Yeah, you can definitely assist and give her an advantage on roll. Yeah, you take that assist because it's a straight be roll for this roll. Because I get a lot of chances to see if one of these guys thinks you're lying. I could also do the group roll, but I like to do it and make it rough. I'm really glad I got that. Uh, that advantage because that was an 8 and a 15. So 15 plus persuasion oh, of 9. Yeah. Uh, that was you in the garden and so much better than my persuasion yeah. of 0. Four? No worries. Four, I'll, I'll clean it up tomorrow. I got the. Sorry, one sec. One more time, guys. Sorry. 24, I think. That? Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that one. 15 plus 9. Yeah, that's pretty good. I doubt any of these guys are going to be able to hit that unless they natural. T oh, nope. That was a natural 1. Now, you're good. They look, they're like, you know, we don't get paid that much for this job. Here's the deal. There's about 20 or 30 guys behind us in the forest waiting in case anything went wrong here. You're going to need to sneak by them. It's the only way you're going to get out of this. The whole forest is covered in Janarak troops. You might be able to get by, but we'll pretend we never saw you. Mostly because you know Gasty over there. He hasn't got a lot of friends. Oh. I give him another little wave and a big smile. Gasty waves back. This guy also waves again, but then gets hit in the head by this guy again. He's like, I, I'll let you pass for now. Be safe on your journeys. Don't get caught. It's going to be a bad night. Thank you. And we walk away. We walk around. And I stop playing with the lion because I need to roll a better stealth. <laughs> Good call. So let's hey. not... Let's not... Since we know... There, how many people we're trying to avoid? Do we get like a advantage or something? <laughs> um, <laughs> since they gave us intel, I feel like I feel like you were sneaking last time to the very uh, decent of your ability. Maybe, maybe do something to help with your sneaking, some kind of action. Like, I I don't know. Like, shit. I'm just I'm trying gonna to have I'm gonna have Drago use uh, his perception smell check to let us know when we're getting close. Yeah. To these new. People. All right, and with that, I will absolutely allow. See something like that. Just anything to like kind of bolster your ability to sneak around. Now you can roll your stealths with advantage. Yeah. All right. So me first. Which is oh the thank best God for advantage. Four twenty. Really? All right, I posted my stealth in chat in the roll twenty chat. I got my dog out because I'm sure you hear her. Indeed. Just I got the twenty. Diego can't roll for crap tonight. Good thing he has a freaking plus eight modifier. <laughs> yeah, I that's. Don't have to roll too too often. <laughs> it's true. Oh 
successfully make our way through the forest. And this time we did good enough stealth that we won't get caught, right? <clears throat> well, um, let me check on some things. Oh no. I gotta make some rolls. Oh, oh no. no. Oh yeah, he's gotta make perception rolls. Oh no. Yeah, a lot of and them all too. And the roll they have to beat is a 14. That's my passive perception. That's lower than- <laughs> both of my rolls are lower than mine. And yeah, <laughs> you have a pretty good passive perception though. <laughs> 16 is nothing to sneeze at, or was it 15? I thought yours was the 16. Mine is 16, so there it goes. Yeah, you have, you and Drago, I believe, have the highest passive perception of the whole group. Yeah, that's what happens when you have good wisdom. Is Gunter with us? Well. Hopes and dreams. Fair. Give me a second. Oh god, I have so many. I am enjoying my shelter and place tacos, which are really just burritos, while I'm waiting to maybe do something. That's your stuff. Yeah. You're trying to turn Diffie's marionette into a hand puppet. Whoa. <laughs> Where's your hand going? That's plenty of Astro Glide. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Hashtag contextual information. <laughs> anyway, uh, so wow, you two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I should have just done the, the the thing, but I don't have a quick bar for that, so I'm just doing them individually. Okay. I need to double check with one thing on the side here. So you were able to make a very good portion of the way out. You were able to get all the way over to right about here. If you guys want to move your characters to right about there. Right about. Oh, it's 40 feet. Hey, 40 feet surrounded by 20 people? I mean, there. could be a lot worse. Okay. okay. Was Brandon... Did we make it like over here? This area? No, I think it was over here. Yeah, the greater end. Oh, gotcha. Oh, no, not, there's neither, more people. Neither of you too far away, honestly. Drago does not go by you. You look like me. I love him. I will speak with him someday. You have the best undead lion. That is true. He will remain my lion. I don't want to take him, I just want to But that's my line. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. <laughs> He's bad. not a liar. Have you checked the temperature of his pants, though? What is that? Guys, what is that? What? So. That, that big, the big, the big, the big. Looks like the uh, skeleton pegasus. Uh, that's, did you say the, the Harry Potter reference in my Christian Minecraft server? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm proud of you. Well, you're a bigot. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So how do our stealth go? Um, I got 20, and you got 21, so... Maybe Technically, you, you guys better. have not been seen, actually. You cool. Whoever got 20 and 21, nobody rolled higher than that. That's cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready to deal with this. Um, yeah, the other two people you have been seen. Yep, unfortunately, Vista. Um, and that's, you guys probably would have been seen too, but I'm just too lazy to add the modifiers for any of these assholes. And as long as they caught one of you, it was all good. <laughs> if they, if they remain stealth, I'm, I'm ready to play it off. 
I feel like this is the thing. Uh, so what you see before you is a rotting looking ogre-ish type person. A... As well as a like giant dragon skeleton. And finally, uh, you got yourself what looks to be a like regular kind of zombie looking dude. Although he looks a little smarter than your average zombie, he has like a pipe and a golf hat. Smarter than your average zombie. Where is he? I'm just trying to get him on here, but they don't have always have the greatest zombie cues, so. Oh, there he is. Okay, I see him. Yeah. And also, to your surprise, next to this zombie guy is Gunter. Gunter! What the hell? Gunter! You guys are literally just coming out of stealth. Okay. No, I didn't I didn't say it in this character. <laughs> it's so hard to separate, damn it. Because <laughs> I don't have a voice yet. We gotta get voices. I don't, I don't have one yet either. But... My suggestion is always the Mo voice. <laughs> I cannot personally do it without getting, you know, spanked all day, but no, just... <laughs> The what voice? The mo voice? What is that? I don't know. The voices. I'm working on it, but Jen would have been, what? Like, super quiet when she saw Gunther. Are you all on your way to the dark tent? Loop, dark top. Yes, I am uh, making my way there. Oh, I'll, I'll walk with y'all. So I, uh, this guy's just gonna say, uh, so I take it you know these guys. Oh yeah, they're my underlings. We work in the same troop. I assume. And they make a point of like a flourish. Is it it does like a little like totally unenthusiastic, but flourish I, I just like to think that it's super unenthusiastic but totally in sync yep <laughs> that sounds about right <laughs> sounds about right pretty great with a, with a little eye roll yep just like the flattest like face no frown no smile just <laughs> yep <laughs> So yeah, but, seeing this, Jem would walk up to, you know, me too. to be like, yeah, this is totally fine. Right, and so, cool, cool, cool. And then he asks the only question that would require the second role, which is, and should be good, you know, and I assume you all work for the same person. And he's cool. really, he's really more asking Gunter than you guys, since Gunter was already here. He's like, he's asking, so these guys work for you, and you guys obviously all work for the same people, right? And I look him directly in the in the eyes and says, "My boss has never changed. You are correct." And he's going to one second. Yeah, he's going to take that as good, because <laughs> he rolled a four on intuition. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he's gonna be like, all right, be on your way. Just, just tell Charlie and Toothy over here to, you know, stay back. Well, actually, you just stay back. They don't understand very well, and they get a little bitey. Fair, fair enough. Uh, we'll, we'll be uh, back at our tent. Should you need any other additional, and I kind of wink at him, dance partners. He laughs, winks, and uh, looks back at the uh, thing. Also, just for yours, for your information, I talked about the one earlier. It's that one. Four. Yeah, but the other one, you're all good. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's like, go. I'll keep an eye on these guys and the lines. If you see anybody that's not supposed to be over there tonight, get them the fuck out of there. I turn to Gem and I whisper, Fuck a dragon? I think he fucked a dragon. Wait, who? Hunter. Cause he's, he did the whole wink and the whole dance partner thing. You know that's you know that's code. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I turned. Is, I how quiet business. is this? Because you guys are notoriously <laughs> bad at right, but it's still I'm stealth. <laughs> I uh. I make a point to point towards uh, the dark top. 
<laughs> Come on, folks. I uh, do hope they ca saved me a uh, thorax. It is my favorite part. So we throw yeah. stealth, right? Okay, that's a twenty. So I'm super. S I'm. S you can't hear nothing. Damn. D do I need to roll for my like confusion? Though, or am I good? Just be like, I don't know. I, I loop a bit into the, into the whispers and I'm just like, Well, I think he fucked that dragon skeleton. Oh, so you have not had relations with uh, undead things before? <laughs> you know, crazy, no, I haven't. I am a super oh? skilled bard, I do what we do. Oh? Okay, alright then, let's head out. Yeah, I think that's a good <laughs> point to. <laughs> you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna roll my emotions dice to figure out how I feel about this. This is a good time for that. Whenever left with the question. I'm gonna be angry because I want to see how you play off angry in this scenario. Landed on surprised, which is what happened anyway. <laughs> very, uh, very fitting. <laughs> She's like, um, okay, um, uh, let's just keep going on what we're doing. Oh. And then I leave. I, I walk towards the thing. About 80% certain of it's as a, like a, like a necrophiliac now. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm walking up to Gunter. Hey, where's Gunter on this map? Yeah. Guten Tag. He's, uh... Give me These it. children have no clue what. That's my bad. What humor is? <laughs> there we go. Er, I'm not the sharpest tack in the box. I am unable to drag my thing to the. Ma oh, there we go. It is weird sometimes. I will admit. Sometimes I have extreme issues with it. But yeah, there's Gunther. In all his glory. Dude, what are you doing? And I, I say that to Gunther. What are you doing? Why, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, I am very certain that we are still being spied upon, so I'm going to make a roll. Smart man. A gem is sticking close to the people who apparently have a definitely have a pact with where we are. Okay, so also at so the a, ready. Sorry, go ahead. Like she's at the ready to swing if she needs to. Ooh, nice, very good. So twenty-five to deception to hide a message to my party. As I'm talking, I'm not talking loud, but I am trying to relay an in information to them without actually saying it. Um, so they're probably all going to need insight rolls. Yes. Uh, but I am trying to basically tell them that, look, our friends are picking up some unmentionables from the good top, and they are fitting out the herd. We are saving you all because there's twice as many in the woods waiting for you. And we're just going to continue with what they want us to be doing. Okay, so that that would be insight then. Oops, that didn't go in my box, so I'm not counting it. Um, <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Twenty-one. Oh shit. Six. Okay. Um. Twelve. That sounds about right. So we're gonna go with that obviously everyone man even the six with his 25 well that's for the deception though not the insight so correct yeah. I, am, I am making i am yeah no no yeah to definitely to in them, secret right if yeah. anyone's actually listening in because i'm pretty sure these guys are wicked skeptical of me um <laughs> that they are so listening in that they wouldn't actually understand so, gotcha. Like I would be yeah, using yeah. in troop like mediums of like you know yeah. well, hey the, you know the water was a little tepid so I moved out like that kind of shit. Definitely, I, I get you for the just kind of trying to get the gist across without actually saying it. It's like they've got me by the balls with the rent this month. Let's you know just you yeah. know there's I, I definitely get you though with obviously even, better than my I, one deception. <laughs> I even make a point of like specific words to try and 
make it really obvious. I even put a little bit of emotion into specific words to try which and would, like which help them be a little a bit. Huge cue because you don't really have you don't really show too much emotion when you speak. Cor correct. I am always very deadpan on everything I do, and those of you who've been, who've been with the carnival long enough know it's on purpose. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I think between the three of us. I might have been here the longest, maybe? I'm not sure on how long Vitz has been there. Uh, it's like seven years. She's probably one of the, the newer people, yeah. At the least in the troop. People. Yeah, at least in the in troop, the troop yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Between the three of us who are trying to receive this message, I've been here the longest, but I'm dumb as a box of rocks. Super dumb. <laughs> Not her fault. To be fair, she can talk to the juggling <laughs> storm giant. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> I mean, anybody can talk to him, it's just... Oh, I understand him, too. understanding him. I understand him, too. Fair. Fair. Oh. I rolled a two on my intelligence for that. I see that he's acting weird, and I don't know with my 12 if I would know that he, if I would pick up on the secret message, but I know he's acting weird, so I want to, like, continue following what he's, I want to do what he's telling, I want to do what he's telling me to do. Right, you're just going to lean into kind of whatever he kind of... Yeah, because he's acting weird, and I want to find out why. Yeah, Jen's still following along because she doesn't, like, while she wants a fight, she doesn't want an un outnumbered fight, which she knows from the conversation with... <laughs> these people over here yeah we'd be wildly so she's outnumbered just, so she's just following along waiting for something she knows she can handle gotcha that seems like a prudent decision once we're about a hundred feet away somewhere in there I do try and get some sort of information out of them as to like why were they headed in this direction why were they out here to begin with take that question. This is like, I'm fielding answers here. <laughs> I'm fielding answers, yeah. You're like, you're like, I have a question. I was like, I have an answer. Um, we, we came out here because we, you know, I, I was really interested in what you had said earlier today. You had mentioned something about some kind of tension brewing or something like that, but I couldn't find you to ask you about it, so I wanted to come over to the dark side and figure out what it was on my own with Jem and Avitza and Drago. Which is not technically a lie, <laughs> but also not technically true. Um, here, I will, I, I will make a roll so of you. One D twenty plus two is I, I lie like a motherfucker, but I don't ever actually pick up on it. Same. <laughs> uh, dirty 20. Ooh, what do I have to roll against that? Deception uh, or deception? Persuasion? Deception? It's yeah. usually deception, unless you're trying to persuade me to do something or think s some specific yeah. way. If you're trying to, like, mislead me, that's deception. Yep. Fine. Fine. Including deception. hiding information through, like, specific half -truths. yeah half truths yeah. or even sometimes even exclusions although a lot of the times exclusions are counted as outs because even in lie t lie detector tests you can oftentimes get away with a well no i never told him i texted so that's him a, that's a roll to 19 plus six i think that so is that's yeah 25 25 25 19? Oh no, it was crooked. <gasps> Guys, oh no. Cocked roll? I think so. Do I have to roll it again? Can you balance the d4 on it? No. Then yeah. Then yeah. Oh. It's not flat. It's not... Can't it's not flat. Like, it's not flat. I like that measure of can you take that cocked die? Can you balance a d4 on it? Some people are even worse. I know people who will ask you to balance your d20 on it. Oof. Okay, let's re-roll that then, so it's not 
Oh, 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 that's a three plus six of a nine. Well, it started out looking really good. And then fate went way. bam. Like the wind shifted and you caught like a scent of a lie. So she's not being completely honest with me. That's that's really all I get. Pretty much. Completely. You say okay. that I'm holding some stuff back. Which is normal for you. Speaking of <laughs> right around this time, you guys should show up at the dark side of the carnival. Yeah.